oh no, Trump leads in Arizona? False equivalency because Harris is up in Pennsylvania? So each candidate has a swing state? Wait a minute, what's this little fine print right? So that you can read it. Based on polls of 808 voters in Arizona and 857 voters in Pennsylvania. 800, not 800,000, 800. Let's play a game. This is the population of Pennsylvania. When you take the 857 individuals polled and you try to figure out what percentage of that population it is, oh look, not 1%, that's a zero in front of the one. So it's less than 1%. The moral of the story, the media is gonna media. We have to be smarter as consumers because the media and consumerism probably isn't gonna change. The narrative is, is they both have a swing state and it's so close and it's so tight. Arizona's population is almost half of what Pennsylvania's population is. So think about that too, not mentioned in the article either. The reason that I specifically use the population of the entire state as opposed to the population of registered voters is because the pollsters didn't clarify exactly if they were only polling registered voters. So of those people they polled, some of them may not even be registered voters. I'd like to say do better New York Times, but I know you're not going to. So instead, I'm gonna say do better Americans. Think about the information that you're reading and hearing, and then make sure you look at the fine print down here because it gives context. 800 people isn't really anything any of us should worry about. And even if it were, I have a lot of follow-up questions. How were these 800 people found? Were they spread across the different counties? Were they a mix of age, ethnicity, socioeconomic status? These are all questions I'd want to know about those 800 people. And again, it's 800 people. 